We just rolled up to West Coast Exotics. If you guys were here yesterday, you heard me say that we were cruising out here to come check out a few cars because they have a full on car show today. And this one's actually massive. The last time I was out here was not this big, but today we're here to check out a couple toys. Afterwards, are we gonna go right afterwards? Yeah, definitely. I wanna check that new park. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to make Vic afterwards, but let's cruise in here and see what's around. We found Waz's toy. This is what he wants. He wants an R8 so freaking bad. So bad. Look at, you're drooling, dude. Dude, black butt, change the paint black. Black? Or just it blue, out. bro. It out. Yeah, blue would be tight. If I was gonna do it like full Tiffany, black my first AOS before. Like your hat? Yo, bro, look at this paint. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see it on the video, but it's like a blue kind of glitter and he has like his, his uh, mirrors wrapped. It's actually just really freaking cool. You know how we were just talking about his R8 that he wants? This is literally identical. He's got, got the snowboard rack. Yeah, snowboard rack on the top. This is a Waz car. This Supra's got one of my turbos on it. Hey, hop in, dude. How big's the microphone on this thing? <laughs> the microphone? <laughs> I mean, the Supra's cool. Like, I like it. But next door. Woo! That's my girl right there, Waz. The time when we do Ooh, it. Look it. There's two more. <laughs> so Urus is screwing it up right now, dude. Yo, look at the wing on this one, boys. Jesus. All right, guys, click the car right now. Should I get like a wing like this? Like a really gnarly wing? I like the look of the wing, but I want you guys to let me know what you guys think. I, I also like a duck bill too. So you guys think a wing, a duck bill, or something else. Let me know. Here's the like a stock wing basically that comes with the black edition GTR. It's like all carbon and stuff too, like a flat carbon, which is really freaking nice also. I love the look of that. I like this blue a lot too, bro. So this one is basically the same car that I drove when I was here last time. It has the same wheels on it, different brakes. The brakes that I had on there were really, really expensive. It didn't have a carbon hood, silver, so pretty much what I'm saying is this is not anywhere near the same car that I drove. <laughs> <laughs> Another big wing though. I do like the white on this. I like the smoke tail lights also. It looks really nice. Lambo could be sick, but I don't know. Oh, this would be sicker. I want to hear the GT take off. I want to hear this one. This one's going to be a beast. So we're cruising around looking at all kinds of toys and look who we ran into. Mr. Ooh. Mr. Hot Wheels himself. We met up with our boys right here. We got Brian and Riley. We got Brian and Riley and Brian has his prodigy with him and he asked if he could come and have me sign it. So that's really random, but it was really cool for you to bring your scoop man right up in the front. Oh bro, we found ourselves a freaking Nismo right here. Walter. What kind of Honda Civic is this? This is the newest Honda Civic. It's a Nissan, so it's a Sentra. My yeah, bad. it's a, it's a, well, it's the Honda Sentra. Yo, high key though, this color is bad. I do like the gold. Usually I don't like wheels that are like completely different colors. Like on, for example, like on Subarus, some of them look okay, but like the the, the Subarus that have like the, the blue with the gnarly green, I'm not crazy about it, but this actually looks really freaking cool. So right over here, we have our boys, Nobody Performance. I just met some of the people that work over here and this is their STI that has if I'm not mistaken I believe he said 500 and some odd horsepower to the wheels. I believe that's what he said, but this thing is a beauty Oh, and we got free stickers free stuff's always nice. We've got Waza. We've also got Max Peters Bruh, I didn't even realize that this was twin turbo in the bag. All right, so we've had a lot of fun out here looking at a lot of cars. Shout out to West Coast Exotic Cars for having everybody out here to show off what they have and everybody to come out and see some of their dream cars. But it's time for us to move on throughout the day. Jesus, you don't need that many. Crikey, mate. He's a wild one. Oh, crikey, he's, he's seen us. While you do this, I'm gonna go look at the scoot section, okay? Oh, they're not playing. <laughs> do not, do not break anything. We are not those kind of YouTubers. That's no, not us. Okay, so, so one thing that I know a lot of scooter riders as well as scooter riders' parents struggle with is the fact that they're riding these really expensive scooters to the skate park or a school or even down the street to go to the store and the store doesn't let them bring them in, which, by the way, if you guys are a store and you're, this is, that's really dumb. At least put, let them put it inside. But the thing they struggle with is worrying about that scooter getting stolen. So I found a lock here that actually might at, at least aid with that because you can't necessarily lock up any scooter to where nobody's going to steal something off of the scooter because let's be real. 
real. If somebody comes over and they see, for example, a really nice scooter and they want your bars and your bars aren't locked up, they're gonna take them. So there's not really a specific way to lock up your entire scooter, but hopefully this is at least a, a half of a solution. My man. Yeah. <laughs> so here is the lock I just found. We're over here at Walmart, by the way, and it is a 12 foot long security cable for camping. It's a $9 lock, um, and we're gonna see if this is a decent way to actually lock up a scooter. Now, the reason I'm really kind of highlighting this lock in particular is because the actual cables on this thing are not very wide. They're actually very skinny. This cable will be able to fit through a lot of different parts on your scooter as opposed to having to really try to maneuver something through a really weird spot. The actual end of the lock is a part that's obviously very important. Come on, focus for me. Come on, focus for me. This is very important because if this is massive but the actual cable is small, the cable being small is irrelevant because this has to fit through whatever you plan on putting it through. So we're gonna go ahead, purchase this cable right now. We're gonna purchase this entire lock, cruise over to the skate park, and just kind of see if we can make this essentially secure on my scooter. Okay, we got everything that we need in the car. I think it's time for us to cruise over to the skate park and let's see if we can make this lock fit on my scooter. Okay, so we are over at the skate park right now. We have our lock, but before we actually put that thing on and, and kind of test it out, I want to get some clips here at Cal Oak Skate Park. So, let's start on the hip. I like to move here close after waking up. So we have our lock right here. I don't even know what this thing is called. It's just like some random lock. Like I said, I just got it at Walmart. The code on this one is 9061. So, so I'm gonna unlock it really quick. Pull this thing off. Got some zip ties on here. Oh, these are tough ones. Oh, <sighs> you know, pocket knife. All right, so we got everything discombobulated. So the only thing about this lock is the fact that this end is kind of like big. It's not as small as you would hope for it to be, especially when locking up a scoot. So for example, this is Tito's scooter right here. Tito is riding the AOSC5, you've got river wheels, but on the river wheels, these are this thing is not gonna fit. It's close, but it's not gonna fit. So if I were to lock up Tito's scoot, I would either have to go, see this one would work out right here, would be kind of convenient, but like I was saying earlier, you can't lock up your entire scoot. It's just not gonna happen because if somebody wants something off of like a scooter or a bike, whatever you're locking up, that's the only thing that's gonna stay there. And even then it's not a guarantee. So because I do not run river wheels, I run the 120 Lambo wheels. I love these wheels. I've been riding them for a very long time. Uh, my full scooter is a full Envy and Vital Complete. So this should hopefully fit through here. <laughs> we didn't check it when we left the store because I didn't have my scooter inside the store because that would have been weird. Did it fit through the wheel? <laughs> it just walks right in. All right, guys, I take full blame for that. Waz said that it would fit. It does not fit. <laughs> it's really close though, bro. But what you can do, problem solving. There we go, okay, feel and you. Then, Here, pull this then. baby through, pull this baby through. Now let's go like this. <laughs> and then you gotta go through it though so it makes like this, the loop. That makes sense. This looks all bad. It's not supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to be like, effective? yeah, it's safe. Effective. Look, hey, and then. All right, well, we got that part done. <laughs> all right, so our wheel is secure at this point, sort of. <laughs> so now through like, look, come here, come, come close, come close. See this? This thing will fit through the deck like this. Move your hand. I'm, dude, I need to get it through, bro. See, now this will go through the bottom like this. Boom. Made it through. So now my deck's locked up. My wheel's locked up. So now we've got this little contraption right here if you wanna check this out, Tito. So we've got this like looped around so we, a wheel is locked up, the deck is locked up because it's going through that. We're not gonna lock up the back wheel. Um, I don't feel like, that, I mean, we're gonna be able to with this because it's massive. I mean, I guess you could do the same thing Waz did. All right, you do the loop-de-loop -loop and pull and your scoot is looking safe. 
All right, so we've got the scoot. We got our back wheel locked up right now. It doesn't like, like we said, it doesn't look pretty, but it works. So we've got the front wheel locked up and we just did this little thing where we kind of folded the cable in half, stuck it through the wheel and then grabbed this end and threaded it through so that it's all locked up. Again, this is a, this is a 12 foot long cable. So it's not something short. So you probably couldn't do this with like those ones that kind of look like a whole bunch of circles when you buy it. If somebody wanted to steal my bars right now, they probably could unless this fit through here, but it doesn't. But, but if we do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Check it out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Ain't nobody taking my stuff. All right, boom. So now our bars are locked up. We're gonna thread this on the other side of the fence. Boom, boys. Our scoop is locked up in a whole bunch of different ways. So it doesn't look as pretty. Like I said, but if you wanna take the time to go ahead and lock up your entire scooter, that's the way to do it. Everything is locked up, so if somebody wanted to take my deck or something, it would be a pr like a, a mad mission at this point. Unless they would have just cut the cable, then it's a wrap. But <laughs> <laughs> not everybody's going around with bolt cutters everywhere. This lock was, I think, nine bucks or eight bucks at Walmart, so it wasn't super expensive. And it's more of like a peace of mind thing. Like if I'm going into a store and they won't let me bring it in, again, if you guys work at a store and you're not letting kids bring their skateboards and stuff in, just relax. Just watch them when they go in. And you guys that are taking your skateboards, bikes, scooters inside the store, don't ride them. And we won't have to do this kind of stuff when you guys are inside the store. Be respectful. That's why they don't let you bring your stuff in, because you're jerks. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little idea. If you guys go to your local Walmart, Target, whatever, find something like this, snatch it, throw it in your bag. It's not something you're gonna use every single day, but it's something that you could use in an emergency if you guys need to go inside and do whatever it is you need to do inside of a store. But thank you guys again for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Shout out to everybody here at Cal Oaks that came out to ride today. It was a busy day at the skate park. It was a lot of fun and everybody else looked like they're having a good time. But until next time, I'm out. Later.